Hi everyone. Well, this part of the tutorial is basically to help you uh, work with pages. As you can see, I have already opened the pages uh, a tab here, and you can see a whole line of pages I have already made. I have tried to make my own my own magazine here. My magazine is called Rockstar, and uh, these are my pages. I have made around uh, nine pages so far. Uh, well, uh, let's start the tutorial. Uh, the whole idea is that when you work in pages, this look is really uh, non-productive because uh, it wastes a lot of space. So let's first change that. Uh, go to the flyout menu right here and click on uh, panel options and remove this show vertically. Based on your own requirement, you can always show the page size to be small or big or extra large depending upon uh, your own convenience. Masters are always there. I'll come to masters later. Icons, you can also show transparency, show as much information as possible, always will help you. Page layout, uh, well, you, as, as you can see, your masters are up and the pages are below. You can always change that. Uh, for some people, masters might not be that important and pages are more important. So masters will come much below. Well, I'm okay with this look. So once I click OK, I can see obviously a lot more pages in the same space that is showed right now. You can always increase and reduce the space. Um, you know, uh, your magazine might have easily around 40 pages, so there's a lot of pages to make. But uh, just before I move forward, let me show you certain very quick information. Okay, how to work in the pages. Well, first let's talk about how you can move pages. Moving pages is very simple. You can just click. Uh, suppose I have clicked in a number, so the pre so the spread got selected. As you can see, I have I'm working in page spreads, which is that in one spread you have two pages and this black line is a spine. Okay. Now if I want to move these pages, very easy. I can just drag, and just watch the hand carefully. If I if I move the hand outside, it might give a look like this, which actually will add this spread at the end of the document. If I anywhere in between, if I do it, suppose in this form it will move between four and five and six and seven see that page is moved and the numbers are automatically arranged the way the numbers are showed you can always change that I'll come to page numbering later but uh, you can always change the way the page numbers are displayed you can do that by going to flyout menu and clicking on numbering and section op options Okay, here you can see there's automatic page numbering, so it will start from one and, and, and so forth. But you can always start the page number at a, at, at a particular number. Okay, and there's something called section also. Let me go back to you and explain to you further. Whenever you want to add a section, for example, in your magazine, you might be having different sections. Suppose one section is very long, and you would like to make sure that uh, in those sections, you have only a certain number of pages. So, which means that you can define a section and you can restart the whole page numbering. For example, let me click on the page 6 and 7. Suppose from this point on, I want to have a new section altogether. Simple. I'll just go to flyout menu. Okay. And I'll go to um, numbering and section options. And you can see there's something called start section. You can you can select it or, or, or deselect it. I'll, I'll select it because I want a new section starting. And I want the section to start with page number 1 only. Okay. And I want to change the way the numbering comes. Suppose I want to have uh, a zero 01. And it's a new section. So you can name, you can prefix a section name also. I won't do that. Uh, you can also have document chaptering, which is more appropriate when you're using a book. Uh, and uh, so we will see how it makes a new section from here on. See? Now you have a new section. And from this point on, it has a new numbering style altogether. Isn't that great? Which means that you can always have the section with a different page numbers altogether. Anytime you want to go back to that option, this black triangle on top will help you go there. Just double click here and you will come back to this original setting. Okay. Now I will help you to, to uh, understand how you can use a master page okay, to insert page numbers. Very important because um, as I mentioned, as I mentioned before, you can always change the way the numbering comes, okay, by clicking on this small black triangle and change the way the numbering is happening, okay. Suppose for the whole magazine, I want to have this zero one approach. So I'll click here, and then I'll have a zero one approach for all the pages now, okay. So how to add a page number in all the pages in this particular form? That is the topic for the next tutorial.